Avicii's hanging out tonight. How are you, man? I'm I'm really good. I'm doing re- really well. It's fair to say you are the busiest guy in music. How do you find like the time to like take some time out for yourself? Like you got so much gigs going on right now. It must be hectic. Yeah, it's been hectic up to pretty much now. After London and after the Ushuaia closing, I'll be off for months. Yeah. Speaking and of Ushuaia, how has that been? How's that residency been? It must have been so much fun. A few of my friends went. They were like, "This guy's crazy. It was so good." Yeah, no, no, it's 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 just gotten crazier and crazier over the years. Yeah. To me, it doesn't feel like I've been there for for that long. Yeah. But I I just remember in the beginning I was doing like incredibly well. I was doing everyone was oh, oh what's happening? Yeah. That's really good. And then it was like seven thousand, six thousand people a night and that was back in the beginning like right in the beginning stages yeah and now it's like nine thousand it's crazy isn't it ten thousand every day yeah they're like we're gonna break the record we're gonna break the record <laughs> yeah. uh, so just day. finish up the uh the world tour as well how was that was there like a place you think like i love playing at this place i love australia yeah i, I, I love australia a lot and i i know actually this summer what stands out the most for me has been morocco Oh really? Just that experience, yeah. That's cool. Now, obviously, in the past, there's been a few people taking digs at yourself and other DJs in the kind of EDM genre. And Noel Gallagher, especially being one of those people, it must annoy you or really pee you off that these people don't treat you like a musician just because you're a DJ. That's just, it's ridiculous, right? No, I mean, I don't think it's ridiculous. It's just ignorant. Yeah. I, I just think they don't know what they're talking about, really. And yeah. then, and then he, you know, he has no idea. For instance, what I'm doing and how it's done, but that's also part of, of this album. Yeah, is that I, uh, I have every session filmed. We're gonna do something with that so people can see what actually goes on in the studio. Oh, cool! So what, like a like a movie? Yeah, or more like maybe maybe like a YouTube series yeah. or something. We're, we're still talking about it, but we have all this material. We we want to sit, wait, and see which songs becomes the biggest ones first and then kind of focus on those and then move down. I want to talk about your new single. You just dropped it. It's called For A Better Day. Tell us a bit about the song. Well, the song is with me and I wrote it with together with uh, Alex Ebert from uh, uh, Bud Sharp and Ma- Magnetic Zeros. Yeah. I think it was the first song we wrote. We, we've written like six or seven songs together. We, we get along really, really well. He's such a chill and cool guy and... <laughs> He's open to everything too. Or I try I try to make every artist I meet be open to everything. Because they're so used to people kind of telling them exactly what to do. Yeah, And exactly. how to do like, And it's always the same type. Is that how you like to work? Do you like to just take control of everything? I, I, yeah, I have to. The only one I can take control over is Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he, he, he is insane. Like literally, he'll, he'll hear me play an arpeggio and a drum beat on my laptop and he'd be like stop 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 but can i have a mic 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 (laughs) and he gets like stressed and then he gets the mic and then can you just loop that and then you loop it forever and then he just he sings for 10 minutes and like jumps around and tries to find the hook and tries to find the yeah how many sessions did you get to do with chris then uh i mean we, we we probably done close to 50, 50 oh, really? sessions, wow. 50, 60 sessions. I mean, a lot. We've done a lot yeah. of sessions. You've worked with loads of talent, especially on this record. Uh, Chris Martin, we mentioned earlier on. Uh, done some bits with UK talent, Luna George and Tom Modell as well. Are any of those making the final cut? Well, neither one of those is going to be on on the album. Oh, really? Unfortunately. Not on this album, at least. Because we, we didn't have time to work out all the uh, business side of things. Yeah. But I'm hoping for for like the next album. I, like at first we were gonna do a double album with like maybe 18 songs. Cause you had over like 100 songs, right? Oh, I much more than that. But how'd the, you narrow it down to so many then? You kind of remember which ones you really, really, really like. Yeah. Which ones stick out? You, you can tell the difference between an eight, a nine, and a ten. Yeah. You know, and an eight is for other people, and a nine needs more work. And a 10 is just perfect as it is. Yeah. I want to talk about One Direction quickly. Um, obviously, the boys recently splitting up or having a break for a year. Are there any of those guys you think, do you know what, I'd like to work with you? Maybe Zayn or any of the other guys? Yeah, the one, one of them contacted me. Oh, really? Uh, Which one? Liam or Zayn. Uh, I got the mail in 
r- right in the middle of the busiest time of <laughs> yeah. making the album. So I put it in like to do list yeah, yeah, folders. Yeah. So would you consider <laughs> working later. one of those guys? Do you think they kind of do you think they'll do well as you know solo artists? I mean that remains to be seen. I I believe in Harry Styles. You know I'd love to do something with him, but um, it all depends on if they write, if they just sing, if they you know depends what happens. Hey, yeah, look, exactly. Really excited for the album. Stories available to get on iTunes now.